Hello, hello. This is Insurance Hour. I am your host, Carl Sussman. Thank you so much for being here today. Phone lines are open, 559-656-0317. Of course, you can send your questions as well to questions at insurancehour.com. Today, we have special guest, Blanca Pacheco, and she is here from the 64th District in California, although she's in Sacramento today sweating. Welcome again. Thank you, and thank you again for having me. Absolutely. So before we took our break, we started talking about this bill that you are sponsoring. So let's start from scratch. We've got lots of time right now. Tell us what the bill does. And and let's just start with that. What does this bill that you've authored do? Uh, yes. So AB 2743, which I introduced this year, it addresses a significant unintended increase in financial responsibility limits for peer-to-peer car sharing. And you may ask, what is peer-to-peer car sharing? I sure do ask. So peer-to-peer car sharing is the ability to rent out your vehicle, rent out your personal vehicle and allow someone else to utilize that vehicle when you are not using it. Uh, So the whole purpose of my bill is to maintain this uh, program or business affordable so that more and more people can do it, more and more people can share their vehicles so that they can make a a living uh, when they're not using their vehicles. So car sharing, basically, if I'm understanding, is it's the idea that I can take my personal vehicle and I can let somebody borrow it for a fee? That is correct. So if you have a BMW, if you have a Tesla, you can rent it out. What if I don't? I'm just, then you can rent any, one. <laughs> any, yes, that's right. I can go rent one. So I, I'm looking at it more like an Airbnb where you rent out a room or a house of yours for a finite period of time, but this is your vehicle. That is correct. Okay. And so are there companies that offer this particular service right now, or is it a new business concept? So there are companies. Uh, one of those companies is Turo, but there's also another one called Get Around. Okay. And are these, uh, they're app driven or they're, they're call in or, or sign up or how, how do they work? So I, I, that's a great question because I've actually used it before and it's app driven. Walk, walk us through it. So it's app driven. You open up your phone, you download the app, and then you can um, search for vehicles within your area. Uh, so for me, if I wanted to search for a vehicle in Downey, I could look for vehicles in Downey. I could look for specific vehicles. And then I pick the dates that I want to rent the vehicle. And then voila, there you go. You can rent a vehicle. So you, you rent the vehicle. So you're, the vehicles are all over. Correct. And, and you pick the vehicle you want and you just go get it. Are the, the keys are in it or you knock on the door to get the keys or how does that work? So it all depends. You're given specific instructions from the owner. Uh, so for one of the situations, the owner said, I'm leaving the key in this location. You go to that location, pick up the key, and then the car is right there. So it's really easy. And how does it work as far as gas and mileage driven, things like that? Is that built into the cost or does that just, does each owner of the vehicle decide how that works? It, it depends on each owner. Uh, typically, uh, you can use a car, you know, you don't have to worry about gassing it up. I mean, it would be nice. Um, it's just like renting a car. Um, but it, you, you pretty much just utilize the vehicle and then drop it off within a couple of days. A couple of days. Could you take it for a few hours if you wanted? Uh, It depends. You can look to see if there's an owner that wants to rent out their vehicle for just a couple of hours. But typically, I've seen for a day or two. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay. So so there's basically two companies that you're saying that, that play in this space right now. And are and and is there one in particular that's or are they both in California or I, I know that you're you're all about California businesses so is there one specific that is focused in California? Both are in California. Both. Yes. Okay. And so you mentioned that the that the bill that you're sponsoring is designed to fix a problem, an inadvertent issue that would put undue burden on I suppose these two companies. Can you explain what that is about? So uh, what it has to do with the financial financial responsibility limits, Uh, right now the limits are two times uh, the um, usage compared to a personal car. Uh, And 
starting uh, in January 1st of 2025, we're going to see an even more increase when it comes to peer-to-peer car sharing. And so to prevent that unintended consequence, we have introduced this bill so that we can stabilize the financial limits for peer-to-peer car sharing to make sure that this uh, type of business remains here in the state of California, which is what's very important. So when you're saying the financial responsibility, you're talking about the limit of insurance or bond they have to post, or is that what you're referring to? Correct. The, the limit of the insurance. Correct. Okay. So the, the app requires the, is it the owner of the vehicle to have a particular level of insurance, or is there insurance that the actual app company is offering in addition to that? How, how is that working? So it would be in addition to. Yeah. It would be in addition to. Okay, so the person has insurance on their car, and then they're going to put that car out to be borrowed? I, I See, it's still just not working in my brain yet. It's too new. So they put their car on the app to be borrowed. Correct. And so you're saying that in, in addition to the insurance that they have, then uh, these, carry, these companies would have an additional amount of insurance that they would provide for people that are, in essence, borrowing the cars. That is correct. I see. And so is is there a particular limit that you're saying it's going up in 2025 and you think that limit is too high to be able to allow these companies to continue, to, to continue doing business? It is because currently, uh, even the way um, it is, California's limits are even higher than 43 other states and D.C. Okay, so we're talking about the limits of liability that the company would have to have that would be in addition to the limits of liability that the owner of the vehicle would have. Correct. And those limits are higher in California than other states. Correct. And you're saying those li- those limits are going to be increasing in 2025. That is correct. Uh, anywhere from two times to even three times uh, higher. And this is an unintended consequence um, under a a Dodd bill that was uh, previously passed. And the author has even said that this was an unintended consequence from his bill. So this senator, Senator Dodd, has supported my bill as it made it through the process. You know what? Let's talk a little bit more about that. Bill Dodd's a good guy as well. I, I've spoken to him in the past. We can take another quick break. When we come back, let's talk a little bit more about that un, unintended consequence. I think that's a really important point that we can that we clarify. This is Insurance Hour. I'm your host, Carl Sussman, with special guest Blanca Pacheco. We will be right back. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And don't forget, click here to watch the next video. This show is dedicated to Shamrock Papa.